Hey guys, Charles here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a rundown of how I go about analysing a brand new affiliate niche SERP that I'm going into. I'll be showing you exactly what to do when looking at the competition in that SERP and how to strategize around what you found out. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be going to I'm going to be using a product that I found called Lean Belly Breakthrough on ClickBank. It's got an average sale of 38.6%. You get 95% of that, so you get pretty much the entire amount of money for the first month, and then the rebuild you only get 1%. So basically, they're trying to get affiliates to get people in, and they're making most of their money from the rebuilds. But obviously, this means that you're getting up to about a $38 commission every time you sell one of these products. If we go over to uh, Ahrefs Keyword Explorer, which in my opinion is the best and uh, most interactive possible keyword research tool on the market right now, and we just stick in our keyword to be able to search for it, this will then bring back not only the keyword results, so how much monthly searches, etc. it's got, but it's also going to list the top 10 competition pages for each one of those on the SERPs, which is extremely important. Now, first of all, we see that it's got 1,000 clicks in the US and 1,600 internationally, and it's got 98% organic, which is the clickstream data, um, which allows us to basically see kind of how much traffic we're getting to the actual organic keywords rather than the paid traffic things. There's also a ton of other keywords here that we can find and uh, various other things as well. Now we want to go down to this bit, which is the main thing. This is traffic shares by pages. So these two are the most uh, effective pages currently for traffic on here. So we're going to just copy these two. And the first thing I'm going to do straight away is head over to wordcounter.net slash website wordcount. This stuff is a really good tool, which basically just tells you how many words are on a page so that you know the amount of content that you need to outscale. So the number one result for this has 1,661 words on the page. That means that we want to ideally target around 2,500 to 3,000 words so that we can essentially go beyond what they actually uh, currently have as the number one position and double it and make his, our piece of content the biggest authority on the market. It's a good idea to also check the number two one as well just to make sure that there's not a uh, pattern of any bigger word counts on the site. And again, 1,209. So essentially, a 3,000 word article would be the most authoritative piece of content on that on the market on that at that point in time. So it's really easy to go and do that there. Next up, you want to be analysing the site and the page itself. So first of all, straight away, I noticed that it's on an SSL certificate. This is just a standard nowadays for niche affiliate sites. Generally, you want to have an SSL so that you add trust to the user, as well as in October, Google are actually going to start putting in the SERPs when a site does not have an SSL certificate, which is obviously going to be a kind of dust, uh, distrusting signal to Google and to users in the future. Um, straight away, though, I noticed that there's not actually anything about this domain that is relevant to the site itself. It's likely just an auction domain where they've got some age and pre-existing authority, likely unrelated even to the topic itself, but it's got that age and authority which allows them to put these kind of reviews on it uh, for a very decent price um, and obviously take over the topical authority after a few months to be more targeted towards this. Next up, I'm going to put in sitealertthing.com. This just shows me all the different pages that are currently in Google. Straight away, I notice these two pages are completely irrelevant because they're, one is a redirect and one is some kind of uh, PHP file that is obviously an error. Um, and then we have the review itself, a blacklist, which is just a piece of supporting content, and then the home page as well, which is again likely a piece of supporting content. This actually shows me that we can actually outscale the amount of pages that they have. This is a very small niche affiliate site. If you can kind of make a 10, 15 page niche affiliate site for this uh, review, then you'll likely be able to out topically, uh, out topical SEO this specific site because of all the pieces of supporting content that you will have on there. Um, likewise as well on the review itself, there's nothing spectacular about the review. There is some list form to probably try and get in the knowledge graph for certain keywords uh, in various different things as well. And then there's not actually anything else apart from the five star rating which is helping the SERPs as well. I also quite like how they've done the click here for discount here and the click here etc. Rather than doing some massive call to action uh, which actually a lot of the time these kind of click here affiliate links have a lot higher commissions and a lot higher, sorry, a lot higher conversion rate than uh, other ones do as well. Then we want to actually start reviewing the external factors of the site, 
Uh, the first thing I noticed straight away is that it has some social shares. These can easily be bought from someone like PBM Butler. And then the second thing I noticed is the DR on this website is extremely high, and so is the referring domain count. Especially when you look at this uh, page, when it actually only has the page itself only has about 18 backlinks on here. Though I will note that they are hiding PBNs on this because I can actually see one of their non-hidden PBNs in Majestic here, which obviously says Lean Belly Breakthrough. Um, so straight away you see that this domain is extremely powerful. It's got over 486 live referring domains and a pretty high DR. So again, going with the theory that they've likely, or well, they have, <laughs> I can tell that they have bought this domain from an auction rather than doing an expired thing, etc. So actually next we can actually go and check uh, with small SEO tools domain age checker and actually find out how old this domain is so we can actually try and find a domain that is equally old or older to try and do uh, outdo the authority and age though you it will be extremely difficult to find a domain with 486 referring domains likely about 450 or so of them were live when they actually bought this domain at auction um, but again this domain is nine years old so that is a pretty good domain it would probably cost you somewhere in the region of 300 500 dollars to get a domain like this but with the commissions and the monthly searches it pays off very quickly when you start ranking number one and start making a thousand to two thousand dollars a month uh, from those commissions very easily as well as the fact that these pbns aren't actually that solid so it should be fairly easy for you to go out and actually uh, get some pbn links like this and as, as well as they're not it's actually that relevant at all this seems like an art music domain um, they also have been using some uh, diversification tactics using profiles etc from big websites to basically just use URL friendly uh, and that kind of thing, anchor text, so they can kind of diversify their anchor text, etc., on that one as well. And finally, we can do the price versus profit breakdown. So, the cost of the domain, like I said, is going to be about $400 for a really good aged uh, domain. I'd go for a niche relevant one or as close to the niche as possible, but it doesn't actually matter in the long run too much if it's not 100% niche relevant. Uh, content is going to cost you about $500 at $35 per thousand words. Uh, you're going to need some supporting content, etc., just to outdo the already pre existing Asian authority of the number one spot. Social signals, just a cheap $30. Like diversity links as well, $50. PBN links about $750, maybe a bit more when I do, you'd have to do some proper analysis to find the hidden PBNs uh, and see how many PBNs they're doing. But I think 10 or so PBN links should be totally fine to try and rank this kind of page. Hosting theme, again, just $100 for the year or so. And that kind of totals out at $1,830 cost to build this kind of site that would actually rank in the number one spot if you were to do this. And then if we actually work out the profit, I'd estimate you'd be getting about 1,500 unique visitors a month if you were to rank for those keywords and the keywords surrounding it. At a 3% conversion rate, which is a fairly decent conversion rate or a fairly normal conversion rate anyway, that's 45 sales. Considering the commission is $38, that is $1,710 a month, which is pretty damn good for building these kind of a niche site. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a bit more of an insight into how to properly analyze a niche. I'm working on another video about niche research to actually find these kind of profitable uh, niches as well. If you'd like to see more, then subscribe down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Charles underscore SEO, or Facebook, slash The Charles Float. I've been Charles. Have an awesome day. Peace. No, no, no.